fun. Piero's having tough. Bull in a shot. Knocked aside by Langhammer. And the rebound also kicked aside for Tegan Zog coming off the blue line. And Langhammer hangs on for a whistle with 13.54 left in the first period. And we are still scoreless. And we have our first fireworks of the entire week. Yeah. And great job by Langhammer uh, staying with that puck. Uh, they were able to get in there and get a chance at the rebound. And you know, Bootland out there creating what he does best, getting uh, people all excited. And now let's hopefully that we get uh, things evened up here because, uh, you know, this is all started by a player that that's his job, is go out there and create havoc. And uh, hopefully the official does the right thing and just puts coincidentals up there. To the far corner we go. Terrence Wallen almost pickpocketed Matt Register. Puck squeaks up to back Garbowski. Here he comes two on two. Garbowski, far face off circle, throws it out in front. Puck's deflected. Rebound stopped by Langhammer. And he sits on the puck and hangs on. What a stop by number 35. And we get more calamity breaking out as the whistle comes with 10-24 left. And what is still a scoreless first period. Lowe tried to pitch it out in a neutral ice. He had no luck in doing so. Puck is still stationary on the near side. Lowe gets to it, swims around him, and he's got a two on one. Here comes Lowe, thrown out in front. Off the block, a rebound is going to score! Anthony Collins picks up the loose change and with 9.33 left in the first. The rough strike first, they're up 1-0. Well, you know, he, he hasn't scored a goal in a while, Braden Lowe, but he made a great play on the blue line. Created that two-on-one thing. Good job by Collins continuing to the net. And uh, unlike Friday night, he was not going to make a mistake tonight and buried that one to get us that early 1-0 lead. So a big first goal here for the Rush. We saw what happened Friday night when they struck first, when they facilitated on the offense first. 9.33 left in the first. one nothing. They take the lead. And again, hard work. That's all the coaches are trying to preach. Hard work. Good things will happen. And it's given the Rush the advantage. Young still with it. Half lap around the zone. Pressed into the boards viciously. He and Mardo go one-on-one. -on -one. And now Anthony Mastronacaz is in the fray as well. Michael Young gets boarded by Tegan Saad. And we have a stop on the play with 4.41 left in the first. one nothing's the rush lead, and now Tegan Zahn's trying to start something here with Michael Young, and now it looks like everybody has a dance partner out there to the near corner of the rush attacking third. Well, and you know, it was, it was a, hitting a player from behind in a defenseless position, and uh, you know, and, and of course there's Bootland in there trying to create something going, and Collins giving the old bird there, and stuff, and Right back up the near wall. Nelson to Michael Young. He rips the shot. Score! It's a power play goal. Puck went off the body in front. And with 11.29 left in the second, the rush are on top by two. It's 2 nothing. That was all about patience. The initial shot on the other side from Wislowski rims around. But buttons right back out to Young at the point. The screen from Cooper right in front of Saunders. And that set up the deflection. Came off an eagle's body in the end. It matters not. It's in the back of the net. And a 2 nothing advantage to rush. Power play goal and they lead the Eagles. 1-10 left in the second. Puck comes back to the far side of the rush attacking zone. Cooper down low, has a man. Cooper with the shot, score! Mark Cooper from the high faceoff circle gives the rush a 3-0 lead. 64 seconds left in the second. Well, Cooper is having, in my opinion, the, three, the, the first start of the game so far. That play was all set up, kept alive by Walters. He had a similar play about five minutes before where he kept it alive with the blue line. The puck comes out into the corner. Cooper's there in the slot, and that's it. And that's all she wrote, 3-0 to the Rapid City Rush. And, well, the Eagles, as I said before, they did a great, the Rush did a great job of keeping the Eagles defensemen on the ice. Register and Jardine were out there for about two minutes prior to that change, and they were looking tired. The Rush, you could just smell they were looking to, to finish them off, and there you go. Oh. Here comes Sadeo off his back wall for Zahn. 9-10 left in the game. The Rush have a 3-0 lead. Here comes Tegan Zahn in a neutral ice. Gets away from one hit. Mikulovic knocks him in on the second one. The Eagles barely onside. And now Daryl Bulan comes after Mikulovic. And here they go. The rookie and the 15th pro. Bootland comes with a couple of laps, rips off Mikulovic's helmet. Mikulovic trying to get a couple of shots in there. And now he rips his helmet off and Bootland takes him to the ice. Both gentlemen tied up. That's a brave move by Alex Mikulovic. He understands exactly who he's going up against. Fans got their money's worth there. 9.02 left in the game. Rush with a 3 0 lead. Wallen for the captain. Walters takes the puck. Backhand saucer pass. He finds Mayo. Mayo creeps into McDonald. Now on the near wall. 30 seconds of 5 on 3 left. Here comes the captain. Walters creeps in. Rips his hot score! It's a power play goal. The captain strikes. And with 7.27 left in the game, the Rush have a 4 0 lead. Wall. 
Couldn't get it out. The puck comes right back now to Ashe. He turns up the ice and now hands up two feet ahead to Mark Cooper. Cooper's got a lane. He takes it. Rips the shot. It's stopped by Saunders. The rebound comes to Mijak. Mijak takes the puck behind the net. Navigates traffic. Up to the blue line. Mayo. He rips the shot. It's the puck. The rebound to Cooper. He scores! 406 left in the game. Mark Cooper has number two. And the Rush have a 5 nothing lead. Uh, again, great job by Mayo getting that puck in there. Getting a good shot on the net. And then there's Cooper, you know. Uh, again, uh, as of late, we haven't been getting those bounces. But uh, we finally get a good bounce. And uh, right to a guy that's finally really getting some confidence. And hopefully that uh, relates for the rest of the season here. That, uh, you know, it seems like once you start getting some goals, your confidence gets up there. And then things start happening for you. Pucks go in and... Uh, you know, great for him to uh, get that second goal. Here comes Walters. He's sent into the boards by Jardine. Nothing's called, and we play on. Look out. Here comes Matt Register. He is all alone on the break. Langhammer ready. Shot. Scored by Merrick Langhammer. And he hangs on for the whistle. 2.27 left in the game, and it's still 5 nothing. Rush on the penalty kill for 75 seconds. Mikulovic hangs on to Anthony Collins now. Collins back behind the net. Three seconds, two and one, and that's going to do it. For the second time this season, the Rush got a shutout on home ice. Merrick Langhammer, 32 saves on 32 shots, and the Rush win 5-0.